Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on solving an exponential equation. So what we need to do here, the only difference between exponential equation and the one we've been easy or used to solve, let's 3x equal to 7 plus uh, 8, 7x, when you gather all the x together, you have minus 4x equal to 8, and then you get x onto itself. Okay. We're going to do exactly the same thing, except the exponential is where the variable is located, thus exponential equation. So the first thing we need to do is get this variable down to earth. Okay, it's up in the sky. So the way we're going to do is, let's isolate this thing on itself for one by dividing a thousand or whatever constant you have in front of it. The reason we want to isolate it is that I put error here for the troublesome term, is we can take a natural log on both sides. Natural log allows us to put the exponential onto the floor. Okay, so this side is pretty easy. We have a 5.63104 and then equal to e to the 0.057t by taking natural log on both sides. We accomplish what we need to do. And then this side, whatever the hat gets to be blown onto the ground. Okay, so from here onward, this one is just a number. It's not a pleasant number, but it's a number nonetheless. Okay. So from here, all we have to do is just like solving a 3x equal to 5. We're going to divide because opposite of multiplication is divide, division. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to divide 0 0.057. Okay, then on my right hand side, I have t all by itself, which is what solving an equation means anyway. And then on this side, we're going to get our friendly calculator and punching the numbers. Now pay attention that, or be careful on the exam, you don't take a natural log accidentally with a 0 0.57 as well. It's just a natural division, okay? So t on my calculator shows up into 30.3. And uh, depend on what the original equation comes from. It could have been seconds, could have been t days, but nonetheless, um, for our particular purpose, solving this exponential equation, the answer is t equal to 30.32. Well, that's how we handle exponential equations. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Till next time, have a confident day.